You got that Lyra's in. That Lyra's that, that good it's thing. It's a takeover with like T-Roy and, and DJ Q45. Q45, boo. We don't ride out. We take over. Like, when people ask me, they say, yo, who's one person when you interview them, they shock you? And I say, I say Plies. Yeah. And I said, because people don't understand how educated this man is, how business mindset this man is. And when I talk to you and then people listening who are listening now, they're shocked because they're turning the radio up like, who is he talking to? I see, I ain't had none for real. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, that's the difference with me. Like, I know I'm one wrong move away from being back to point eight again. So for me, I think I met people before before my situation was what it was. Yeah. And I was like, damn, like, boy, I thought they were cool. <laughs> like I, you know, I grew up listening to them when I met them. You know, whether they brushed me off or whatever, and I ain't never want to be that person. But when it comes to being smart and being sharp and being talented, um, I always tell people, man, it ain't that I'm sharp and that I'm smart. It's just the perception of most artists. Is most people feel we dumb anyway, especially the urban artists. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, it's just about. I think I got. I think I got raised by the OGs from the standpoint of knowing where it was I was trying to go. Like I know what it is I'm trying to go. I know what I'm trying to stand on. So if I go to Atlanta and I hear 20 songs in the club that I never heard before, I ain't trying to chase this sound because that's not who I am anyway. Yeah. So it's easy for me to stick to my guns because. I understand that my what my point is in music. So if I don't get nominated for a hundred awards, I get it, and I ain't tripping, and I ain't mad at nobody, cause that was never my, I never signed up for that anyway. I signed up to just give you our story. You know, people always ask me, why are you always talking about people that's locked up? Like, why should you even care about those people? But that's all I grew up around. Like, half of my family is incarcerated. So for me, it's important. To me, it might not be important to the lady that stay in the suburbs. 17 miles from here because she may never have been affected by it. Yeah. So for me, I don't feel like my music for her. You know, and that's what I'm, that's what I understand. I understand my place and my position. So if I never get the big accolades, I ain't never tripping about it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, for real, because it's like you think about it, and I, and I always ask people, you know, what are you in the game for? And you, I mean, honestly, you two deliver the message and let people right. know that there's things that y'all might not be seeing, but you let me pull this curtain down so yeah. you can actually be in more in tune to understanding what's going on. You better believe it. Because it is out here. It is happening. You mm -hmm. know, the people just always want to shun it. Yeah. It's, it. It's like Florida way of living. Like, I'd have been a lot of places saying that I'm Q45. I know that, but it's something different about how we live in Florida. And for me, you know, I'm always give it to you from the first hand home base, which is four miles, but I just think the the Florida way of living is, is something that everybody been intrigued by. So I always try to stand on stand on it for the whole state, let you kinda see how we live and bring you in our world a little bit. And if it worked for you and you're in New Orleans and you can relate to our story, then we're gonna rock together. But, you know, if you might be in in, in uh North Dakota, what I'm talking about may not even apply to you, so for me, I just try to stand on that, man, and, and at the end of the day, I think my journey been good for a lot of the people that's like the people before me who been paid away, so, you know, I ain't never tripping, man. This, this, this music thing, it come and it go, you know, but at the same time, the message and what I'm trying to get out of it, you know, it'll remain the same. Now, look, man, you are on your tour, you're on your radio rounds, you're doing your yeah. reintroduction of uh, plies. What, what, what have you seen and learned so far at this point? Everybody needs to be able to use each other. And, and that's something that I understood it in the beginning, but I was it was a certain way that I was trying to run my run my team and my camp, and I ain't never really understand that. But you need to be able to use me. I need to be able to use you. And that's just the way the world go. That's the way life is. And I think any time um, your approach becomes too business, it ain't good for the brand. Um, I think if you look at a lot of things going on with radio, you know, a lot of things that's happening is all about the business. Yeah. You know, you look at the National Football League, a lot of things that's happening, I seen they finally do $21,000 $21, the other day for a hit that wasn't even a crazy hit. Mm -hmm. But that take a love away from the game too when everything becomes too business. And I think for me, um, that's the thing that I learned that, you know, for me, that can never change for me, man. I need to always be the artist that people can touch. I need to always be the artist that people feel like I'm their brother. Um, I need to always be that artist that people feel like that they can relate to. Um, you ain't gonna never see me, you know, with the super crazy 
dress code on because that just it's just super crazy jewelry. <laughs> not really. not, I, I think I always the, the, the jewelry thing. I mean, cause look, you got you got a hat, you got a goon mask. What is going to be the craziest charm you coming out with? You got now, or you haven't even reintroduced to people? I don't know. I got um, I got something. I cause got you something. know, you always got you a diamond stole. I got some. <laughs> <laughs> diamond store. <laughs> That's a new one. Nah, you heard me say it's snow. It's snow. We go coin now. That's a new one. For real, because every time I see pliers, it's always something new. It's always something new where I'll be like, let me just wear this for a day. What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? What we doing?